What's going on guys, your boy Coach Anthony. Today's video is gonna be a really, really good video. It's gonna be the six keys to shadow boxing. Now this is something that I get constantly, constantly asked when I go through my DMs, when I go through my emails, when I see people drop comments is, how do you shadow box? What do I need to focus on when I shadow box? Is shadow boxing for this? Is shadow boxing for that? So we're gonna go ahead and cover the six tips. Now I need you guys to stick around to the end of this video because tip number six is the most important one out of all the tips that I'm gonna give you. All right, so let's go ahead and let's get started. Let's go. All right, so tip number one with shadow boxing this is gonna sound like common sense, but it's punches, punching, mixing up your punches, throwing a variety, variety of punches, I should say. You can't shadow box without punching because you're basically punching the air or you're punching a shadow target or throwing punches in the mirror, right? So when I'm shadow boxing, I gotta focus on my punches, okay? That's the first thing you're focusing on. The first key is punches. Okay, the next key is obviously the footwork because we can't have the punches without the footwork, right? So if I'm moving now, now I'm utilizing the footwork and now I'm putting it together with the punches. Ha, ha, ha. Footwork, punches. Ha, ha, ha. Second one is footwork. Okay, the next one is head movement because after you move your hands and move your feet, you gotta move your head, right? So we got punches, we got footwork, so if I'm moving the feet, Ha, 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 moving the head. Moving the head before I punch. Ha, 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 moving the head after I punch. Head movement. Okay, now this one is also very important. It's fainting, right? Because we have to throw our opponent off. We can't be predictable. So we already got the punches. We already got the footwork. We already got the head movement. Now we're gonna add some feints. So I'm here, faint. Faint punch, head movement. I'm already moving the feet, so there's the footwork. Fainting. Okay, now this tip. Defense. 50% of boxing, people only train it 25% of the time and wonder why they get hit twice as much. Simple math, right? You gotta add the defense, it's 50%. So, when you shadow boxing, add your blocks in there. Slips. Pull back. Bah, bah, bah. Head movement. Defense. And the last one, the one that I said is the most important is visualization. You have to visualize, guys. Listen, it's crazy. I had this conversation with a professional boxer. He told me, shadow boxing is just for warming up. That's all it's for. That couldn't be the furthest from the truth. And this is a professional telling me this, okay? Boxing, shadow boxing, is training to do what you would do in a fight and is also for warming up. But when you're doing this, you wanna do this like you're really boxing because this is where you create the habits. I had a trainer by the name of Russ Amber, who is the owner of Rival. Big shout out to Russ Amber. Um, he told me years ago, and this guy's been in boxing for 36 plus years, told me, if you can't do it with somebody not in front of you, how are you gonna do it with somebody in front of you? And when he said that to me, I was like, that's a, cool, that's a gem, I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna take that, I'm gonna put it in my pocket. If you can't do this without anybody in front of you, how are you going to do it with somebody in front of you with the anxiety, the nervousness, the punches coming at you, somebody trying to hurt you? You can't. So you have to visualize. So when you shadow box and visualize. So I'm here. I already got all the keys, right? I got all the keys, right? Head movement, punches, fainting, defense, footwork. So now that I got all the keys, I'm visualizing. Got him. Whoa, you try to hit me. Nope. Bang him. Oh, you got me to the bottom. Oh, oh, no, no, you ain't getting me there. Head move me, try to hit me. Oh, right hand lead. Oh, check her, pop, jab. See what I'm thinking? I'm thinking. I'm putting myself in positions. He's coming in, I'm backing up. I'm checking him. I can do the rustling check. Pop, do whatever. 
The keys are constantly thinking of what could happen. Oh, I caught his hook. Oh, I caught his cross. Oh, I slipped this jab. Woo, slipped this jab again. He dropped low. Boom, uppercut, lift your head up. That's how you do this. So when you're shadow boxing, you have to constantly think, constantly visualize. And that's how you do it the right way. Guys, go to the website, coachanthonyboxing.com. You already know what I do. I give the best boxing courses at the best price. Don't waste time, go to the website, and you already know, boxing life. Guys, like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification icon so you can know when I drop new videos. And as you already know, boxing life.